as I mean to go on. No way could I do that. It's like I absolutely love it. So how pretty. What's going on? And they're just really, really magical. Um, Anyone that's watched this for a while will know. I'm not really knowing what I was actually doing. This is my third workout. I've had about three people come up to me. Climbing on the roof of the And my tire went out the window. Good morning and welcome to another week. I'm starting it as I mean to go on. I'm on the Peloton and I am doing a quick cycle of just a load of weights. So I'm starting this Monday off well in my eyes. Let's see if I can continue this for the rest of the week. I'm back after my Peloton. I've done a bit of work this morning. I'm now like on my lunch break. So welcome back to another vlog. I am on a bit of a health kick. My children have gone back to school today. By tomorrow I might miss them, but for now I'm loving the quiet, the fact that the house is sort of tidy and I've got some of the toys packed away. And yeah, I'm just happy to have peace. It's been a really busy, crazy summer. My kids, I think I've had nearly eight weeks off. So it's a really long time. Some of my friends' kids are not going back till next week. And I think they're ready to go back to and get into a routine. Routine is like key for me. I'm so dyslexic and so disorganized that being out of a routine, I really, really struggle with. So this morning, I've basically spent all morning replying back to uh, emails and campaigns and brands that I'm working with um, and trying to write out my massive to-do list to get organized for September. Uh, I've got quite a few exciting events coming up over this month. A lot of like personal events going on too. So it all go here, um, which is great, but uh, slightly worrying because I don't know how I'm gonna get it done. I was talking to a lady this morning and explaining just what I've got coming up over the next few days. And she was like, how on earth do you do that? And I was like, I don't really know. I just juggle. I think juggle is my middle name. Anyway, some of the things that I need to show you, I, yeah, I've got quite a few bits to show you. I will start today and I'll spread it out over the week. Um, a few, first of all, a few lovely things have arrived from LK Bennett and I haven't even opened the box yet. So I'm going to go and do that now with you. But this is my LK Bennett box. This is not working, is it? Let me tell this down. There we go. Is that going to work? Not very good at this whole juggling, unwrapping, unboxing, whatever it's called. And doing it one-handed. So uh, I've worked with LK Bennett now for quite a few months and I've always bought their stuff. Like I absolutely love it. It's really good quality. I think it's a very special, special brand in that I would only buy it for special kind of occasions because it is very expensive, however good quality. Um, anyway, a part of their package that they're sending out at the moment is that you can add this bag in for free and send in all your old clothes, um, which I think is a really good idea, good incentive, good thing to do for the environment and all the things like that. So what you have to do is register your code for your bag with secondhand clothes. It doesn't have to be Elko Bennett and then return it, which I just think is such a great service and more brands should be doing this. It's really good. I often will drive around with bags in the back of my car for the charity shop for weeks and weeks and weeks, just because I just never get there. You can't pull in or you can't stop and get out and it's a nightmare. So I'm going to be doing this. Um, so inside I've got this, I don't know, this kind of got added in at the end by me. I don't really know what I was thinking, but it's quite cool. It's in their sale, a little scrunchy. I think scrunchies are well in at the moment, so I'm gonna be using that. Put my hair up in a bun, I think, and use that. And then I have this gorgeous dress. So this is from their new collection. Here we go. I will show you, I'm gonna show it to you hanging up as well. How pretty is this? I have no idea what it's gonna look like. I'm hoping to wear it on Friday night to a 40th. So I've got no idea how it's gonna fit, but I have tried lots of their dresses on before and I do love the way they're cut. So if you notice here, you can see the kind of darts go down here and then it cuts up here and here. It has a lining, which I think is really important. 
and then it has this lovely rouge detail on the sleeve so it covers the tops of your arms now the puff bit here isn't too puffy if it's too puffy i find that it just adds more to the top where i've already got a big enough bust i don't want to make it bigger so this is quite it's not too puffy you know what i mean like with big sleeves it really doesn't work for my shape but the sleeve's quite long i'm wondering how that's going to look on uh, it's beautiful length it kind of goes down and because i'm quite short i think it's gonna be quite long on me obviously it's a really pretty pink color and then this beautiful green it's kind of like a i don't know what kind of green this is it's beautiful and then this intricate green pattern i have no idea what shoes am i gonna wear and then this is the back of the dress so there is a zip that runs all the way down really pretty I'm hoping that I'm going to feel slim enough to wear it. It's one of those dresses where I think I'm going to have to really feel slim enough. Um, I think it might attach itself in the wrong places otherwise. Those sleeves are very interesting, aren't they? They're like fancy curtains. Anyway, I will get this on at the end of the week, hoping it fits. Otherwise, I've got no idea what I'm going to wear um, and show it to you. I've also got a beautiful cardigan that's in the Elko Bennett sale at the moment. Let me put this back on. I will show you that. So this is in the Elko Bennett sale at the moment. It's called Arella. Arella, I think. It's been on the website for quite a while. It's quite cropped. I didn't realise how cropped it was. But it's a really pretty kind of pattern. I really love it. Obviously, you know, you can see I'm very into florals and pink. And this is just a repeat of that, isn't it? So it's a V-neck, which is always useful. I've got it in a size medium. Maybe I should have gone for large. A bit worried that it's quite cropped. I'm going to have to think carefully about what I wear on the bottom. It might look all right on, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is in the sale now on LK Bennett. They've got some great things in the sale and their reductions are really good at the moment. So head over there and have a look. I have got an affiliate code, uh, which I'll try and put below if you want to use that as well. Good afternoon, I've quickly popped out on my lunch break, my later lunch break, I had another break, and it is boiling, what's going on? Like we could have really done with this weather in August. It's so hot, and I was gonna pack up all my wardrobe this week, get my autumn stuff out, and I think that is a bad move because it's apparently gonna be a, like a heat wave this week. It's so nice. I'm just walking along by the river and it's absolutely stunning really pretty and the light is coming through the trees it's just gorgeous so i'm going to listen to a podcast now and then get ready to go for school pickup and then continue work when i get back i've got loads and loads and loads of things to do good morning i am on a walk in this glorious glorious weather literally this is one of my favorite views here so pretty with the light coming down yeah i'm just heading out i've done the school run i did it really early so i'm back i'm heading out uh then i'm gonna go and sit and get a load of work done i've got quite a few bits and pieces and things to show you so i will get that done later on but for now i wanted to just show you my beautiful walk oh This has just arrived and I wanted to show you a few things that have come from Hobbs. I am beyond excited. As you know, I'm a massive fan of Hobbs. I just love the quality, the cut, the finish, everything about it, the prints. And I've got a few new pieces from their collection here to show you. So let's just move this big six balloon. I can't believe he's six out of the way. So I've got this really fine knit polo neck and I have this already in a black colour which I got last season. They basically repeat the same uh, design because it is just so popular I would imagine. I love it. Because it's quite fine knit it's also though quite warm and it means that you can layer it up or just wear it on its own. So I have that lovely piece and it actually on the website it's paired with a really lovely tartan skirt that just looks absolutely stunning so i think i might eye up that one next to go with it 
pair of black opaque tights and some boots. I think that would look like a really lovely winter look. And then dress wise, I've got these two dresses that have just arrived on the website. So I thought this was green and black, but it's actually two greens, which I think is gonna be good for my coloring. You might remember a few videos back, quite a few, I had my colors done again. I love getting them done. And we talked about green being a really good color for me. I've got green eyes as well. I'm liking the cut and the shape. It obviously cuts here with the band and the bow. So you could tie that at the back or the front. It's got nice sleeves that cover the tops of your arms, but then shows the thinnest part of your arm, which is obviously my wrist, which is great. Buttons down into a V shape, which is good. I'm not very good at wearing patterned things like this so it's going to be a new one for me i'm quite excited to try try it it's also got quite a nice full skirt which i really like so that it kicks out and i think that with a pair of heels will look really smart then i've got this dress which is kind of like a unusual one for me but it's one of my favorite blues i absolutely love this blue and i do love this aubergine color which seems to be everywhere this season i picked up a load of jumpers and phase eight which are all like this maroon uh, plum colour, just beautiful, isn't it? So again, this is a bigger print than I would normally wear as well. But I do like the way it's cut here with the band that goes just under the bust, cut into the V-neck here. It's got a little bit of rouging detail on the on the shoulders, which is really nice. And then it goes all the way down. So I'm really intrigued to try this on and see what it actually looks like on. Also picked up. I think I would call this a shacket, but I don't know whether Hobbs would call it a shacket. But it's kind of like a shacket effect, but a really nice shacket, because I really don't like shackets. It's kind of like a blazer, but a casual blazer. Really thick, lovely quality. Feels really nice. So this is called, let's have a look, the Peter A jersey jacket. It is navy. It almost looks kind of black. I've got it in a size 12. It looks quite big, doesn't it? But I suppose it's supposed to be oversized because it's kind of like a shacket kind of look. Anyway, loving the gold buttons going down. So I'm going to try that on. I think with jeans, because it's oversized, I'm going to have to go something quite tight below, uh, I think, to counteract the fact that it's bigger. I did think it would be more blazer-like, but it's actually not. It's more casual. It's not really that fitted, is it? Just checking this out. Let's have a look. Oh, a bit at the back. Mm, it's, it's quite casual, I would say. Casual. Casual jacket. Moving on. Oh, let me just show you this. Oh, my gosh. I am so excited by this coat. How stunning is that? Imagine, like, on a really winter day, by the fire. I mean, how gorgeous. It's so lovely really really lovely we used to have school dresses like this print as well which kind of makes me laugh because i used to cringe and think i don't want to wear that but now i absolutely love it really fitted really nicely it is long i think it's going to be really long at me because i forget i'm so small so i'm going to have to wear heels definitely with it but i think that's going to be gorgeous for winter i love the velvet collar as well the detail that hobbs add to it is just stunning that is just gorgeous isn't it oh can't wait to try that on really nice i just wish it would get cold now it's boiling i'm going to dig out a summer dress to put on in a minute because i'm so hot and then some other pieces that have arrived as this gorgeous uh printed blouse now everywhere has got this kind of horse equestrian kind of print at the moment when i was at jules at burley they have got some gorgeous shirts at the moment that are all printed there's a blue one that i'm eyeing up and it's got this beautiful pattern on it or equestrian so it is definitely everywhere so i'm really pleased that i've got my hand on a shirt so i think this will look really nice with a black pair of trousers or my jules kind of job per trousers that i was wearing at the weekend they're kind of like this Brownie, beautiful colour. Equally with jeans, I think it would work. I need to get some black smart trousers. I definitely don't have any of those. I love the sleeves. Look at the sleeves. All that rouging, it's just stunning. <sighs> How gorgeous. Um, so it is a round neck. So what I tend to do when I have necks like this is I open it up so that it's not so close to me and I have more of a V coming down. So I'll probably try and open up the collar a little bit wider. 
it's got a really nice fit to it, hasn't it? I can't wait to try this. At the back, we've got a little bit of detail on the back there, and then it just comes down straight. So I probably, I could tuck this in or wear it out, but I think it's a really nice piece. And then I've got one of their new seasoned handbags here, which is rather lovely. Their handbags are gorgeous. The amazing quality. They last and last and last. I literally live in them every season. So this is quite a soft leather with a magnetic clasp here and then beautiful detail on here. Again, quite equestrian, I think, and it really links well with this shirt. So I cannot wait to get these pieces on. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, yes. That is going to look so nice. I need some kind of loafers now, I think, to, to finish it off or something. Hmm, I'm not sure. Anyway, really, really pleased with these pieces. I've just been trying to work out what I'm going to wear for our Hobbs event on Thursday. So I've been invited to a press launch down to look at the new season collection in London. Um, I absolutely love going to these events. They host really lovely events, Hobbs. Every time I've been, they're just really really magical and just really nice and it's so nice to meet the team that you talk to on the computer or on instagram or on tiktok and you actually meet them in real life um so i absolutely love going and i always make an extra effort to get down there and speak to them all and see them and catch up so this dress was sent to me a couple of weeks ago from hobbs and i was planning to wear this but because it's so hot i think i'm just gonna be boiling on the tube and the train and I think I need to think sensibly because I'll be carrying bags and things like that. So I think what I'm going to do is wear this dress. Let me try and get a nice seat on the hanger for you. So they've got, it's got a lovely cap sleeve. It's not too long. And I think this will be too long. It's just going to be so hot. With the V here, I'm going to wear my hydrangea necklace. And then I love the cut because it cuts just up here and then it flows out. I'm going to have to wear my big pull-in pants, I think, with it because... It's quite tight around the tummy area, which is my my problem area. Uh, but then it kicks out and it's got a lovely skirt to the bottom. It's quite long, but I think this will look rather nice. I'm sure there will be other people wearing it because I know it's been very popular. It's still on the website now. And this is the thing I love about Hobbs. It's not quick fashion, I don't know if you know what I mean. But a lot of places these days, you put things on and I try and then put them onto my Instagram grid and then I go to try and tag them and they're gone and they're out of stock and they're never to be seen again. So with Hobbs, I find that the they last, they're making clothes for the season and there will be repeats of them. So there's lots of sizes and things like that. So it is a brand that I am very fond of. How pretty is that print? So it's got a little bit of black to it, which is a black is not a colour I tend to normally wear, but I'm going to pair this with my red shoes and a black bag. And I'm thinking about maybe a black blazer just to smarten it up um, for lunch afterwards. So you might remember last week I spoke about doing some coaching and I am doing some fitness coaching and nutritional coaching with a company called Oakman Coaching. So they're up here. I'm gonna put a link below so you can go and find them. Uh, but I have now been sent some feedback from my first week. Uh, I did some exercises. I had three days of exercises to do and to put in all my food and what I ate. I got quite confused with all the kind of calories, but he has now sent me, this is Ryan down here, some feedback about my week last week and he so this I think it said it's a seven minute video talking about what I need to improve on what I need to do this week what things he's changing for me in terms of my workouts um so I'm quite excited to watch this I'm just going to watch a bit and then I will let you see what he says in terms of um, other things where you need to look at what an actual serving is. So easy things to do is um, just scan the, scan the packet. If you've had one, um, one serving of what it says on the packet, then it's correct. You're better off instead of using cups of using ground. Um, so I've estimated based on what I can see from there. So um, protein is going to be the thing that really satiates you throughout the day. Um, it's not vastly high in calories. Is there anything that you want to send over that you want to, um, just to make the, uh, just to make sure that you're doing anything uh, everything correctly? Just report yourself doing a few repetitions of anything. Um, but yeah, generally it looks like you're in a really good place and things are working out well. So uh, keep up the good work and I will talk to you soon. So 
I've just been working loads, um, which has been good. But I haven't been on here and I feel like I'm neglecting you all. So this morning I did my workout with, I think it's called Open Coaching, that's what it's called. <laughs> Dyslexic brain needs to work. And they are based in Oxford. So they're there where they do personal training, but then they also do this online personal training um, experience, I want to call it. Um, so when they messaged me over on Instagram, I was a bit like, oh, unsure of the whole thing. They messaged me over the summer and said, would you like to do an eight week program with us and try it out and be really honest with what you think about it for your followers and your viewers and all that sort of thing. And I was like, oh gosh, like, Anyone that's watched this for a while will know that I hate exercise. Like, literally hate it. I've tried all different types of exercise and I hate it. Even my sister over in summer was like, do Pilates, you'll really love it. And I used to do Pilates and I basically fell asleep because I was just so tired. And so I just used to fall asleep in the class. And then I tried yoga and I was like, I can't do this. I just can't. So I decided that at the grand age, old age of 40, I really need to do something about myself. I have gone through periods of being very, very thin and very, very fat, and then yo-yoing in between. And I think I've done this since I was probably about 16, I would say, but maybe when I went to uni, I kind of got a bit worse with food. And I have a love-hate relationship with food. I absolutely love it don't really enjoy cooking anymore but I do love eating but then I feel um, very guilty once I've eaten far too much and the wrong things so it just goes round and round in circles I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this feeling so I've decided that actually I need to get on track and do something about it I'm actually probably one of my slimmest I've been in the last 10 years right now I think I weighed about nine and a half stone for my wedding I want to think back I think it was that maybe it was a bit less but I've never been that way ever since and I would really like to get back to it there is no reason why I can't get there I just find it very hard now dieting getting older and obviously not liking fitness is really not helpful either so I just thought do you know what I'm going to give it this one last try I'm really being careful about what I eat at the moment those of you that have been following for a while will know that I've been doing this fasting thing where I fast in the morning up until about one o'clock and then I eat my sort of two meals but big meals, lunch and then early dinner and then I stop eating again at seven o'clock. Obviously this doesn't always happen and it's quite relaxed but I found it a good way of me watching what I'm eating and making sure what I'm eating is healthy and that will keep me going. Um, so I'm eating a lot of fruit at the moment, a lot of vegetables. I could really be a vegetarian, I think. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of meat. I'm not a massive fan of like fat fish, but I do think it adds an element to it. And I'm not very good at cooking vegetarian food. So we're going with it with lean bits of protein, meat, um, and lots of salad and healthy vegetables for dinner. So with this whole experience, um, you get an app um, when you start working with Oakman Coaching and they put on there a program for you that's tailored for the equipment that you have. So initially you have a meeting with them online and you explain what your goals are, what you want to achieve, uh, you have to fill in quite an extensive questionnaire about your medical health and all those sorts of things. And then they start to talk about what kind of exercise you want to do and where you're going to do it. Some people prefer to go to a gym. Some people have no equipment whatsoever. Uh, and we have a tiny little gym in our garage, which is not really, it's basically a room with a running machine and a bike. And then we've got some weights. That's about it. So... I gave them all this information and then they came back with a program that would suit me and my lifestyle. I had to be very realistic with how much exercise I could actually do and what I was going to achieve. And normally I'd say, yeah, I'll try and do a bit every day. Well, that's not possible. You know, it's just not possible. I don't enjoy it. I'm not going to do it. So I tried to be realistic. And I've said every, three times a week, I will do it, which is good because before I was going on the bike like every day and not really achieving a great deal and not feeling any better. 
and not really knowing what I was actually doing apart from just cycling along, not going very fast or to a proper pace or anything like that. So I'm on my second week now and I've had three, so you get a warm up and then you have three workouts for the week and they monitor what you're doing. So it's really clever, this app. Like it's amazing. It can see when you started, what exercise you're doing, what weights you're doing, you put your weights in, how many reps you're doing, how long the whole thing's taking. It all hooks up to my watch so they can do your heart rate and everything is fed back to them and they translate the data. So I had a video call yesterday, I think it was, with some feedback from last week and we talked a lot about um, the food and calories. Now I've never really counted calories before. I've done Slimming World, Weight Watchers, Cabbage Suit Diet, the Grapefruit Diet, the any diet there is, I've done Slim Fast, bars, Cambridge soup, uh, every, every diet I've done. But I've never really counted calories, so I don't know what I'm doing. So I found it a real challenge last week. So anyway, we talked about weighing out the food and putting the food in with the right, correct weights. And that would help me stay in and actually look at properly what I was eating. So I started that yesterday and I've been weighing things out. Um, and when I say, talk about weighing, I'm talking about things like nuts and seeds and yogurt and stuff like that, you know, obvious things. Other things, you just scan the barcode. This app is amazing. So, so far I've been quite impressed. Last week I couldn't really walk. I was in a lot of pain. My body was like, what are you doing? We've just had a lovely summer and now you're making me work. Whereas now I feel like today, I feel much better, maybe not tomorrow, but I did my weights first then I did a bit of cardio obviously stretch before stretch after and I've put it all into my app so I'm hoping to get some feedback from that but I was going to say I'm really enjoying it that's a lie that is a massive lie I'm not in no it's not that I'm not enjoying it I feel like once I see some results from it I will probably be thinking it's worthwhile but obviously as soon as you start to start at some sort of diet or new regime or whatever it is it takes a while to kick in so I'm fully aware of that I'm just going to go along with it see how I go and I will feed back to you on it a lot of people are doing online coaching at the moment and the thing I like about these two is that they're kind of like a duo. So one is a nutritionist and one is the fitness person. And then they work together, which I think is so important. It's not just about exercise and it's not just about food. It's about the whole thing combined. So I will be feeding back to you over the next eight weeks how it's going. And I, at the end, I might show you some before and afters. I've done before shots. Oh, not excited, not very nice. But I want you to see the process and how it all works. So I will fill you in with that. I thought I'd move slightly over here to the better light. I am working with a company, I wanted to show you, they are called Merit. Let me get my face out of this so you can see. I've seen them all over Instagram. Loads of people are using their products at the moment. I was like, like oh, when they contacted me. So I have got this little, it's called a Flush Balm. And it's really cute. The packaging's lovely, really nice. If you can see if my face goes out of it. I'll put a link below because I've got a discount code. Look at that, really cute. So it's like, um, let me just get out of the picture and then you can see it. Like that. It's like a, so it's actually quite nice to hold and do. So I think you just sort of put it on like this. I did put a little bit on yesterday. I probably should use then, I would then normally not use my finger, I would use a, a brush to blend this, but it lasted quite a long time. I always find blush just sort of goes off my face. Oh, it's a bit, I think I've done too much on that side. Anyway, you get the idea. I really like it. They've also sent me this Day Glow. So again, the packaging's beautiful. Really, really lovely. It's like a um, lipstick kind of container. Open it up and it's like, let me come out of the picture. You can see, it's quite um, cool, isn't it? So I'm not fully sure what we do with this, but we're going to add some highlight maybe to above my eyes here, like this, do a bit here, maybe a bit here, there we go. And again, I probably use my brush. I'm going to take this with me though when I go down to London tomorrow. I always like to take a little bit of makeup in my bag because I find London is so hot and it all just falls off. So I'm gonna to be touching it up with these products just to give me that little bit of a glow when I'm down there. 
I'm leaving early tomorrow morning. I'm dropping off six children and then running to the train station to catch the fast train from York to London. <sighs> Wish me luck. Oh, I've just stubbed my toe. Um, while I remember, do, do, do. oh, it's back to front. Isn't it? <laughs> so I have been using a bargy. You might remember from a few uh, vlogs back, I started using it. It is a special kind of product in that you can only buy it in certain places and you have to kind of almost be prescribed it by somebody that knows about a bargy. So a qualified person, I mean. Um, so a bargy have got in contact with me, which is really nice. And they sent me these two products. So you might know that I've been using some different products on my eyes and my eyelashes. Well, they've now got their own range, which is here. So I just thought I'd turn the camera around so you can actually see more clearly. So we have got, if it'll get in focus, the Abaji Eyebrow Boosting Serum. Serum? And then we've got the Eyelash Enhancing Serum. So these are new. They mainly have like skincare and this is completely new to Abaji. So obviously I haven't tried it, but you can find them here, Abaji Medical, and there is one for the UK as well. But I, so far, I absolutely love their facial products. So I'm quite intrigued to try this and let you know what I think. I've just escaped for a really quick walk before pickup. My my eyes are hurting from the computer, I think, like being sat there pretty much all day. So I'm just heading out and it's really beautiful again today. I wish I had a job where I could work outside. I won't be saying that in winter, will I? It's so pretty. It's looking absolutely stunning everywhere. So nice. I'm trying to get my steps in. Oh look, there's my house over there. Looking gorgeous in sunshine. My house is just the one behind that. Just so you know, in years to come, when you watch back on that vlog, that's that's my house over there. I'm that's what I'm gonna manifest. My husband just laughs when I say that. Shoes. I can't walk anymore. I've switched to my ballet flats. I'm absolutely exhausted. What a brilliant day. It all started about six foot this morning, and I think it's what time is it? I think it's seven o'clock now. I've still got to go and pick up one child. I'm hoping the others are at home. Who knows? I'm so tired. Hi, good morning, excuse the state of me. Uh, I've just done the school run, so I'm back. I've got all my gym stuff on underneath. When I get hot, I've got my big cozy jumper on now because I'm in the garage and it's freezing. I'm just about to start doing Peloton, some walking, I think. But first of all, I'm gonna start with my class classes, my coaching from Oakman Coaches. I'm gonna start with my weights first. I'm gonna warm up then do the weights and then do a bit of cardio. This is my third workout for the week. I did one Monday, 
Wednesday and now we're on Friday. So I, I'm not gonna lie, I really don't wanna do it, but I'm going to do it. I've just got out of the shower. I am about to start doing some work, um, but the mist is lifted. So today, when I was driving this morning, I left about 6.30, the mist was so, like, everywhere. And even driving back, I was like, surely this should have lifted now. I think now it's just gonna get hotter. It's like a real kind of muggy, gray cloud. I'm so hot. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do some work now and I think I've got a few bits to show you, so I'll try and get on here before I have to go out to show you those. I'm really quickly getting ready. Um, so I've got to take my lovely old lady neighbour, who's so lovely, um, to go and see her husband. Unfortunately, he went into hospital. So I've got to go and take him there. Uh, we'll take her there to see him. Gosh, my life is... So I need to... I don't know why I'm doing it like that. You're supposed to drop it, but I'm just slathering it on. So I'm just going to do a get ready with me. We are out tonight for a 40th and I'm going to wear that LK Bennett dress. I still haven't tried it on though. I kind of think I need a backup in case it doesn't work. And I also don't really have any shoes to wear with it. So if we don't think about those sorts of things, hopefully it'll be fine. Um, I'm just putting on Charlotte Tilbury. So I'll just put on some serum of theirs, which um, I've only got a tiny bottle. It's very expensive, but I wanted to try it before I bought it and then I'm putting on the magic cream which I really love and do recommend what I do suggest you do is go into the counter though and ask for a sample and try the sample it goes a long way the sample for like a good week and see if you like it what you have to do is really work it into your skin and it kind of acts as almost like a primer but I found it makes a massive difference this is a really rushed Tutorial. I should probably do it to later tonight when I'm actually getting ready properly. I'm also going to put on this. Uh, so this is the Recovery Eye Serum. I'm really funny with eye products around my eyes. I find a lot of them, especially like with all the retinol and things, they really make them sting. Um, this doesn't. It's really cooling. Um, really nice. So I just put it on like this, just put it around. And I feel like it helps with my makeup to let it sit better you know when you get lots of creasing around your eyes if your eyes are not um well hydrated now i'm just gonna let that set for a couple of minutes and now i'm going to go in with three of my favorite foundations yes three so this is very mattifying if i get out of the way oh my gosh there we are airbrush fill flawless foundation then i've got the beautiful skin which is kind of like everyday makeup really nice just glowing because this one's more matte and then this this is my favorite product literally it just gives you this instant glow i'm not joking i had about three people come up to me and say oh you look like your skin's going i was like thanks um so before i forget i'm gonna put on this so when i did my event at charlotte tilbury they gave me this it's a unisex healthy glow so it comes out like a gray color it looks grey there, but then it, you warm it up and it sort of turns into like a skin coloured tone. It's really nice. It just adds as a another kind of layer primer. I think you could probably wear it on its own. I would not though, unless I was at home for the day. I wouldn't go out like this, but I just want to add something on now. So I intend to put this around all my pigmentation here and all my rosacea. And I put the thick matte airbrush flawless on these parts and then i go in with this which is the beautiful skin everybody raves about this you need to get some go and get color matched if you haven't the charlotte tilbury girls are lovely um everywhere where i've worked with them i really really recommend them really rate it oh i must organize another event with them i must add that to my list this is probably like the worst makeup tutorial ever um and then I'm going in with the brush and just blending and making sure that I really blend up to here and down my neck. It's also not great light, so you can't really see. I've got a, a light here. I probably should have put some concealer on my under my eyes. Found it. It is the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. Um, I tend to put a few little dots underneath. I've got quite dark circles at the moment. And then I either use my finger and tap it out, don't tell the Charlotte Tilbury girls, because they were like, don't use your finger, use brushes. And I was like, oh, 
I'm always in a rush. I don't have time for this. So I kind of blend it out like that and then I do go in the rush. And I just make sure it's sitting nicely. One thing I haven't done is my eyes. So I've just found this new eye product to sort out my eyebrows because recently I've stopped getting them laminated. And I've been using this product called By Ellie. I found it on TikTok. It's really cool. It's like a gel and you stick your little brush in. Can you see me? Sorry. Like so. Doo -doo -doo. And then you just brush your lashes up and it's kind of like a, a waxy gel. Like I think of it like a hair gel actually. I expect that's what it kind of is. And so I've just been brushing my eyebrows through, making all kind of straight and just getting into the habit. I don't think I'm doing this very well with not concentrating in a mirror. Maybe that's better if I do my mirror. Just so you get the idea. I really like it. They seem to stay there all day, which is what I want. My sister's like, what are you doing? I tried to do her eyebrows when we're away and she's like, no, 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 no. She's not into any of this. Um, but I think it looks quite nice. It means I don't have to get them laminated. Um, I need to <laughs> make sure they're both the same. Quite like that. As I'm going for a really quick look, I'm just going to add on some blusher here and here and mascara. And that's pretty much it because I don't have time. And I know she's going to knock on the door and say, you ready? Definitely going to come and get you. We're going to go to Harrogate Hospital and see him. Quite looking forward to seeing him. He's like a real character. He's lovely. So I hope he's OK. We'll go and find out what's going to happen next. Anyway, tomorrow is Rafferty's party. We've got, I think, about 20 children coming for a laser quest party. Don't worry, not at my house. We are going to a place called Stockell Park, which is quite local towards kind of like Weatherby area. And they're going to do the whole thing, thank goodness. I've done far too many parties where I've done village halls and entertainers and done all the food and I'm done with that. So I was just like, let's just go with one venue and then everybody come and they have to provide the food and the drink. So that's good. The only thing we haven't got is a cake. And it says on the website, you cannot bring homemade cakes. Lucky I read that, I literally just read it now. So you have to buy a shop cake because I think the plan was to make one tomorrow before we go. Phoebe wanted to make him one. So anyway, a bit, a bit disappointing that, but we can buy a cake, I'm sure. And then everyone can eat the cake. Anyway, I need to finish my coffee and then I started drinking soya milk instead of milk which seems silly because I'm eating great yogurt. So it's really, I don't know why I'm doing that. Anyway, I will show you what I'm wearing later to this 40th. Hopefully you'll approve. I just, I've got some gold shoes and I really need a gold bag. I haven't got a gold bag at all. I'm gonna, oh, I have my little Megan B one. Can I take that? Gold and gold and then the pink with the green. Let's go with that. I need to recurl my hair probably, but I will be back and I will show you Later on, I'm going to do a proper full face. If I'm doing it properly, it takes me a good half an hour to do my face. So I will try and spend that time later on after the school run, getting ready before we go out. I'm back and I just wanted to show you this new product that's arrived. So it's from this company here. I'm going to put a link to them below. And they often send out new products that have just gone live to me, which is amazing. So I get to try them out first. So this is the Lip Saviour. It's a colour enhancing oil. I've just tried it, it's here in this box here, and it just feels really, really nice. So it's just here. I think what I'm going to do is try this tonight and see how long it lasts and what happens. But I just thought I'd show it to you now before um, I start using it. Very nice. These products are really lovely. I totally recommend them for slightly kind of like older skin, like my age skin. They're really hydrating and really nice to use. Their primer especially, I really like. So I'm finally ready. I need to sort my hair out a bit more, but I'm gonna try and do some photos on the doorstep of the dress. It fits, bit of a miracle, size 12. Not sure when the last time I fitted in a size 12. I'm not complaining. It's a bit tight over the bust though, but I'm just gonna breathe in. Hope it doesn't burst. Um, anyway, let, let me get on with showing you this outfit. So this is the dress. And I've got, I found the gold handbag that I was talking about, and I've got gold shoes, and I think it works quite well. Equally though, I think the model on the LK Bennett website has 
green cheese, I don't own any green cheese. So from the gold, do you think it looks all right? Yes. <laughs> um, it is a bit, it's a bit, you're gonna have to tell me when I need to pull out my top. Do you think it's all right? You're not making much comment. It's fine. <laughs> Thanks, so enthusiastic. So uh, let's do a photo now, we're gonna do a photo outside a bit. I, I really like that, I like the sleeves. anyone else in battle. Your guns are ranged weapons and should not be used to hit your opponents. Do not climb over or through any fences. This will disqualify you from the battle. Climbing on the roof of the jeep, on top of the tunnel, and the bomb shelters. So we finished the party, I'm absolutely exhausted. We got back about 1 a.m. last night, so I'm so tired. I think after this week, I'm just absolutely exhausted. I think first week back of term is exhausting. And then just having to have a six year old party on a Saturday, I mean, what was I thinking? So I'm just doing dinner. I'm gonna do nibbles, cheese and, oh, sugar. Not got any meats out. Where are the meats? Sugar. Good morning, um, I've just escaped the house because there's wrapping paper everywhere, there's presents everywhere. It's a complete and utter mess. I can't cope, so I've just thought I needed to just get some air. So I'm just coming out to listen to a medication, medication, meditation podcast. I quite like listening to these. I'll try and put a link to the lo below to the one that I listen to. Well, I've listened to quite a few times recently so I'll put it below in case anyone's been interested but I just find it kind of calms me down in when I'm a bit stressed um so I'm just going to try and get some steps in also yesterday I did I did like 5,000 steps and I've just filled in my feedback form for Oakman coaching the coaching that I'm doing and I was like looking at what I'd done I was thinking oh dear yeah so I find at the weekends I sort of divert off the diet so I'm just programming in what I actually ate it's not good um had two croissants a load of butter today but I kind of feel like I need a bit of a break at the weekends so I'm not sure they're going to be impressed anyway I also drank far too much and ate all that cheese last night which was amazing but now I'm a bit like oh maybe I shouldn't have done that I also ate loads of crisps anyway I've given them my feedback form for this week and I've written, you know, I'm aware that I've not completed my 10,000 steps every day and that my diet went out the window yesterday. It's also going to go out today a bit because I'm about to have a roast. Uh, but anyway, at least I'm moving my legs and getting out there. And so hopefully they'll give me some good feedback and try and keep me a bit more in track next weekend because I am feeling like I'm making progress. My body feels a lot stronger already just from doing all the weights and stuff. Watch this space, let's see what they come back with. I think tomorrow they give feedback or is it Tuesday? But I will video it all so you can see next week what they say. This is a 
jumper from Beaufort and Blake. Um, I've worked with them quite a few times and I really love the quality of their products. This is like a proper jumper. So really not for this weather. It's so humid. I'm absolutely boiling at the moment. And then they've also sent this, which is like a cord shirt. I quite like it. I think it's going to be really nice and good for autumn. It's not like a really heavy cord. It's just quite thin. Um, so I think it will work really well. I'm just going to pair that with a pair of jeans now and some loafers. I'm going to go and do some photos. I've got Phoebe on hand, who's helping me today. So I've just put on this coat. I absolutely love it. I'm a sweltering, I'm not going to lie. It's spoiling, isn't it, Bea? Yeah. This video. But it's got a beautiful velvet collar. Um, I've also got the bag. So this is the bag that they've just sent. It's on the website now. It's really gorgeous. Very soft leather with this magnetic clasp, which I really like. And then I have got on the boots. So I've dug out my tights to put on with them. But those are the boots. They're really comfy, very nice leather. Really nice. I love them. So pleased with the coat. I think it sort of pulls in at the right place. I've just caught, caught by the neighbour. Um, so I'm back home. I'm just going to go and get all the school stuff ready. So we um, I haven't done anything. I need to go and make sure I've washed all the uniforms and everything and the sports kit. So I'm going to go and do that now. So I might sign off from this vlog. Um, I will see you all next week for more fun. I can't really think right this moment what I'm up to. Got a hair appointment, a trip to Oxford, and a tennis lesson. Yeah, wait for that one. I haven't played tennis for, well, I did play it the other day, right, but it was really bad. So I've actually booked myself a tennis lesson. So, anyway, I will fill you all in next week with what I get up to.